Hi, I'm Woody, and this is our guide to the basics of dribbling. Now, two of the best at this is Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Check these guys out in action. Now dribbling is a great skill to have in your locker because it allows you to move forward whilst keeping control of the ball. Defenders hate coming up against a good attacker who can dribble because they find it very unsettling and hard to defend against. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the basics. We ready guys? Okay, so dribbling. First of all, we need to talk about some of the things which are important when you're dribbling, okay? So different parts of the foot that you're using, the speed that you're travelling at and so on, okay? Now it's important to be able to use both feet, okay? Because the best players in the world can use both feet. They can use their left and their right foot. They haven't just got a strong foot and a weak foot, they've got two feet they can use, okay? So it's important that we can get comfortable using both feet. So what we're going to do now is we're in this square here. You're not allowed outside the square, just dribbling in and out of each other, changing direction, using both feet. Off we go. Excellent stuff. Get that ball moving, using both feet, inside, outside, sole of the foot, superb. Good. And freeze. Okay, so one of the key points, which is very, very important, is keeping the ball close to your feet, okay? It's important to keep the ball close to your feet because dribbling, you're gonna be trying to go past your opponents. And if you're trying to go past your opponents, you need to have the ball nice and close so you can move it and sudden changes of, uh, with sudden changes of direction, okay? Off we go, keep the ball nice and close to your feet. Excellent. And relax there. Okay, so we're just going to use just our right foot now. Off you go, dribbling, just your right foot. Any part of your right foot, inside, outside, sole of the foot, just your right foot. Good. And just your left foot. Superb, well done. Good, inside, outside, sole of the foot. Excellent. And both feet, so we're using both feet again. And relax, okay. Now the reason I get you to use just your right foot and just your left foot is so you can see, okay, what it's like to just use that foot, okay? And at times, it shows you how important it is to be able to have the ability to use both feet, okay? So it's very, very important that you take advantage of using your right and your left foot, okay? Off you go. Superb and relaxed. Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move over to these cones over this way, so come over with me. And we're gonna just go into a little dribbling exercise. So one behind each of the colored cones. So moving along. Next one, guys. All you're looking to do is dribble up one side and dribble down the other side, okay? So we're all coming up the left side of the cones, okay? So on the outside, on the outside here, on the outside there, Kleine. Come around the top and dribble back down the front. Okay, off we go. Excellent. Once you get down there, just stop. Okay, and we're coming back the other side. So we're coming up this way and going back down the other side. Off we go. Superb. Okay, so we're going to go in between the cones now and we're just going to be using just our right foot. Okay, so when you're on this side of the cones over here, all right, once you bring it onto this side of the cones, we're then going to be switching it using the outside of the foot, and then it's going to be the inside of the foot, outside of the foot, and so on. Once you come around the top of the cones, exactly the same on the way back. Off we go. Good, excellent, well done. Okay, and we're going with our left foot now. Off we go. Super. 
superb. And finally, both feet, okay? So you're using both feet, moving it from foot to foot. Excellent. Okay, and relax there. Now let's talk about the things that are important speed-wise when you're dribbling, okay? If you're running with the ball, okay, you've got a lot of space in front of you, you've got obviously a big distance to cover, so we can push the ball a lot further. The reason that we dribble is to keep the ball close to our feet so we can try and beat players. Now, some of the best at this, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Ian Robin, okay, they dribble the ball really well. It's really close to their feet, okay, and when they get close to opponents, they're able to beat them and change direction very, very quickly. And the only way you can change direction with a ball very quickly is if it's close to you, okay? And that is so, so important when you're dribbling to keep that ball nice and close, okay? Sometimes we use the sole of our foot, okay? So as you're dribbling, we can move it with the sole of our foot. So we're gonna go through the cones now, okay? And we're just looking to roll the ball with a sole, with a sole, with a sole, with a sole, okay? Off we go. And same again, off we go. Excellent, well done. Obviously when you're dribbling, okay, a couple more key points that are important is having your arms out for balance, okay? Arms are very important because as you're dribbling as well, you can feel where your opponents are. If they're getting close, you can feel where they're coming from, so you can move the ball onto a different side of your body. So if the ball's in here with me, okay, if you'd like to come in, okay, as you come in there, if my arms are out, I can feel where you are, I can keep the ball on my left side. If my arms are down, you're gonna get close, you can then make a tackle, okay? So it's important to have your arms out because they help you to feel where players are and they also help you with balance, okay? Next point which is important is where we place our head. It's very, very important that when you're dribbling, so try and have your head up as much as you possibly can, okay? If your head's down and you're looking at the floor, you can't see what's going on out in front of you, okay? If you drive a car, you keep your eyes opening, obviously, to your window so you can see what's going on around you, okay? If you're looking down, okay, or you're looking elsewhere, you're gonna bump into players, you're gonna end up crashing your car, okay? So in this situation, let's make sure that we keep our head up as much as we can. You can check the ball, but see if we can keep our head up. That helps you to spot runs, okay? Helps you to pick out killer passes, and maybe get the opportunity to make half a yard and have a shoot at goal yourselves. Off you go. Exactly the same, yeah. Same again, off you go. Just keep your head up as much as you possibly can. And relax. Now, like I say, it's important to have your head at that sort of level so you can see what's going on around you, okay? It's not a problem if you do look down at the ball. So I'm gonna go up this end, I'm just gonna dribble towards you. If you look at my head, okay? As I'm coming towards you, okay, I keep my head up. Every now and again, if I want, I can check the ball. It's not a problem, okay? But I need to keep my head up and turn it from side to side so I can see what's going on. Everyone understand it? Okay, one more go, off you go. Superb. Once more, last go. Excellent work. Okay, the last point I'm going to tell you about today, okay, is the change of direction and the change of pace. When you're attacking against a defender, it's important that the element of surprise is there as well, okay? So as you dribble towards them, if you can throw them a dummy, Okay, and then change direction quickly, we then need to accelerate. Okay? So it's no good that if we beat the player, okay, we've thrown our dummy, that we go away at the same pace. We've got to make sure that we break away really fast. Okay? So what we're going to do, the way we're going to do that, we're going to dribble up through the cones. As we turn and come around the cones, then it just, it's speed all the way back down here, and then we stop. Okay? So I'm up here, in and out of the cones, keeping my head up as much as, as I can. As soon as I get around the cone, it's there, and then we're back to the, uh, back to the beginning of the cones. Everyone all right with that? Okay, off you go. Excellent, well done. And once more. And that's our guide to the basics of dribbling.